Hello, this is uh, Walters and Alex uh, Rubik's Cube tutorial for the Frederick's method. Uh, it's a simple method to solving the Rubik's Cube. So, uh, first thing we're going to start out with, off with is uh, notation and terminology for the cube. Um, a couple things you have to know is uh, if a side is turning clockwise, it is just you know a normal turn. If it's turning counterclockwise, it's considered a prime. So uh, if I'm looking at the front face here, uh, if I turn it clockwise, that's considered an F. If I turn it counterclockwise, it's considered an F prime. Uh, with the R's, turning R up, it's, uh, regular R, turning R back, that's an R prime. Uh, for the L's, uh, turning the L backwards like this would be a regular L. You know this because if you look at the face and you spin the L this way, that it's going clockwise, so it's a regular L. Uh, looking at it this way, though, going up would be an L prime. Um, the U's, looking at the U face, uh, right here, clockwise would be a regular U. Counterclockwise is a U prime. Um, for the D face down here, uh, spinning it this way is a D, and spinning it the other way is a D prime. Uh, the back side. So the back side back here uh, is the opposite the front side. So if I spin it backwards like this, that would be a B. And spinning it back the other way is a B prime. <clears throat> uh, a couple other ones is M, which is the middle layer right here. Uh, and M is like that. So. And uh, just like the, for the other cubes, the opposite way is an M prime. Uh, let's see. Uh, X's and Y's. Uh, this is rotating the cube, not spinning any sides, but just rotating the cube. Uh, an X move is going, spinning the cube like vertically, I guess you would call it. Uh, so x going going clockwise would look like this if i'm looking at the green side i'm going to flip it and now i'm looking at the white side that would be an x if i'm looking at the green side for an x prime i would then be looking at the yellow um if i'm looking at the green side for a y i'll then be looking at the orange and for a y prime i'll be looking at the black side um a couple of simple steps to making your cube a little bit quicker uh, adding a little bit of silicone to it. So I'm just going to do a quick little spray right here. My cube is already uh, definitely siliconed, so I'm not going to silicone it all the way, but it's good to take all the pieces out and silicone each individual piece. So, uh, and then just work it in a little bit, get it nice and uh, quick, and uh, it definitely makes it move a lot quicker. Um, one more thing, uh, throughout this video you're going to hear uh, a term that me and Walter like to use called uh, a finger trick, which is uh, actually an R, U, R prime, U prime. Okay, so that's considered the finger trick. Uh, it's, it's a really quick move, uh, so you know, just like that, that's what it looks like. It's really quick and it's an easy way to do uh, a lot of these steps that we're going to be teaching you. So uh, step one is uh, the first layer. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to Walter. Now it is Walter's turn and we are going to begin to solve our first layer and the first thing we want to do, our first objective is to get this cross on the bottom here. As is the case for the Friedrich system, the F2L method for solving, we want that cross and um, this is what a completed cross looks like and here's how to get there okay completely scrambled cube no cross intact we are always going to start with the white side we'll call that our bottom our D face as Alex explained and yellow will remain our U face we don't want to like get too crazy with flipping the cube around in circles unless we absolutely have to make X's like Alex said so let's begin solving the cross our our first and most easiest case is when you have, let's just pick a piece. We got a white and a green piece here. And this is, easy, this is the easiest case because green is touching green right here. So it's just a matter of a, a turn of that face until you get it matched up with the white side here. Okay, there's one case. We have another easy scenario right here. 
when you have another piece which is the white and the orange orange is touching the orange side already so it's just just a matter of how many turns you you use to get it to the bottom so note that your 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 center for your cross here it has to be not only white to white here but it has to be the same color up here we can't have the green touching the red over here we cannot do that that would not you know thusly solve the cube okay another piece we have a white and a red one here now if we turn this over to the red side it's not touching the red side so we can't we can't like make that move straight down there it's completely flipped around so what we will do though we're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna make a u prime just to just to get this red ready to come down so now now they're touching and then now we can make that make that face move to get it touching here be careful not to misplace a piece that you've already had down here on the bottom so you don't you know kill what you're doing find one more piece there's an easy one right there blues touching blue right there make face make the face move and get there Oh God, you're right. I did kill something. And then, uh, you. Well, this is an easy one again. You got your white and your green. Green's already touching its side, so you know, just a matter of face moves until you get it. And there, there are a couple other cases. You know, I mean, pieces could be differentiated, like so. What I would do here, because this piece is completely flipped, it's on the bottom here. We would bring it. So we could uh, put over here. We'll do what Alex explained to you earlier. We'll do a finger trick, okay? But without that last U prime. So now, so now this is lined up. Let's just let's undo that. We'll show you again. So w while we're doing this, we're gonna kill this green right here. So that's why we have to go bring bring this red to line up and put that back down right there. We do not want to kill this center that we already have going. And then it's touching. So make the face moves down to there. It does not matter right now. I guess it's okay that that we do, if we had a corner corners in just like random other white pieces in there. That is okay. That's just I guess that assists you making your bottom side done quicker, and and that's how you do your cross. Fiddle with that until you get the until you get it down. And back over to Alex for solving the rest of the first layer. Okay, uh, so. In step one, we got the cross. Uh, whites again, our D face. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in each one of these corner pieces. Now, uh, first thing you want to do is with your white on the D face, you're going to look around this top layer right here and see if you can't find any white pieces. So I found a white right here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the color adjacent to this white. So it's black. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna match this black because it's opposite this white to the black center so if I spin it twice you two we're gonna get the black lined up with the black center okay then the uh, move that you do is an L prime a U prime and an L and that put this corner piece in the right place uh, so now we'll look around the top again uh, here we are here's a white piece adjacent colors orange so I'm gonna line it up with orange let's do a U and so since it's on the right side we're gonna go R U R prime and that puts that corner piece in so now we put in two of our corner pieces uh, let's look around the top layer again here we go here's a white uh, adjacent color is green so we are gonna match up the green with the green center right here opposite color white we're gonna do that algorithm L prime U prime L and not put in that corner piece uh, our last one is right around here on this top layer it's already lined up with the center so we're gonna go L prime U prime and then L uh, so in this next video we're going to talk to you about the other cases for these corner pieces.